Oh, holy hell. Hold on a second. We're in a robbery. Let's, let's head that way. It's actually near the apartments. We haven't got any more information, so I'm assuming this was done maybe on foot. Yeah, hell, maybe we can catch him. Three from one. Yeah, there's two fellas running. Yeah, I see that. It's over here. I think they're trying to do something uh, with that person. The hospital. Hmm. They just uh, had a hand handed transaction with there. Yeah, let's go. Let's go talk to him. Howdy, yo. How you guys doing tonight? We're doing fantastically. Oh, good. Thank you. Really? Okay. So, uh, we uh, we have some reports here, some uh, suspicious activity occurring. You guys wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Yeah. No, we're, we're just getting money to rent a car. Is there anything you're looking for right now? So we saw y'all. We saw y'all run across the street illegally. Was, was there any? What were y'all doing across the street? That's my bad. Mm -hmm. Trying to get 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 here. I, I shouldn't where? have jaywalked. That that is from, from the apartments. From the apartments. Okay. Do you mind if we uh, go ahead and search a person, see if y'all have any weapons or any anything on you that uh, could have been used in a robbery? You wouldn't have enough drugs check? on you, ma'am, would you? We did We did also see a hand-to-hand -hand transaction occur with another fella. Wait, what? Who's that fellow out there? Yeah. With me? Uh-huh. Yeah. You wouldn't have happened to see him just slide something into my pocket, right? That's exactly what we witnessed. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. Yeah, he did that. Um, I, I don't know. Um, I haven't looked in my pocket since. Yeah, do you um, mind if I take a look? Yeah, I mean, you can. But I haven't I'll looked. I'm going to have to search you as well, sir. I mean, I thought you got a knife. Okay, I'm just gonna be careful, okay? Okay, you got your knife. How'd you get this knife? I, I bought it. So you got a blood sample on you here. What is this for? Oh, so that's, that's a very awkward story. So I, I woke up in my apartments and there was a floor and I there was a guy on the floor and I, I was able to pick up, pick up his blood sample. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and have to take this blood sample off you. Yeah, that, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this knife from you. Okay, here we go. Face away from me. Oh, are you kidding me? Face, face away from Fine. Oh, hands oh, oh, you guys saw me pass of the week. Why is she getting arrested? One, three, three from you one. You want to take a fourth then? Go for one, three, three. Yeah, she, I, she genuinely I mean, didn't know. I, I had it. Gave me. I found it, no, and then I was showing her it. Uh, Where'd you find it? You realize I put it. In the, I found it in, <laughs> in the apartments. In the apartments, huh? I was gonna tell her to look, and then you guys showed up, and it was very awkward. Is that really a final answer? If you just found the apartments, come on, you could do better than that. Oh, that's genuinely what happened. I mean, this this part is probably not something I should admit, but I was I was rummaging people through people's rooms, and I found it. What the hell, you weirdo? Know, because if that person's got a marijuana plant in the apartments, I mean, they got must, you know got more probably, right? So it wasn't, it wasn't a plant; it was just literally just that. Sounds what like this that? some bitch was breaking and entering, so I'm gonna have to cuff him too. <laughs> okay. Right. So here's what we're looking at right now, I think. We got uh, we can get the fella for uh, drug trafficking because he, he has transferred or distributed a controlled substance. No, it, it, it would be a sales, if anything. Mm-hmm. Hey! Hey! What the hell are you doing, she, okay? She she asked for the taxi. I'm a taxi oh, driver. So are you trying to kidnap my friend? Don't you see the police I mean, and cuffs? Hey, I'm going to take you out, right? Thanks. Sorry. That's an, oh my God. That's an obstruction of hey, justice, sir. Oh my sir. God! Oh my yeah. God! What happened? What you do? What you doing? What you doing? I'm a taxi driver. Yeah, well, What's you're all, you're also you're also a criminal because you just you, you just know committed what? That's an obstruction the guy, of justice. That's the guy who gave me the weed. Hey, what, hey, bro? What the hey, fuck are you talking hey, about? You oh, no, also apparently you're growing marijuana. Okay, so we're gonna have to do this now. Whoa, whoa. Sir, who would Can get that scene to the Sir, sir, y'all came into our crime scene while we're conducting our investigation. You tried to help one of our, our suspects escape custody, okay? This man right there, spending just a little bit of time with him and seeing how he's been treated on the roads, how he's barely have any money to survive. Well, he should have thought about before breaking the law. I feel like there's a there's a significant level of, of common sense that says when you see two people cuff outside of a building, you don't drive up to them and start putting them in your vehicle. Uh, I feel like that's such a severe obstruction of justice. We we can't just let him go. I mean, you, you you take somebody who's cuffed and try and put him in your vehicle and drive off. I mean, that's I mean that that is just so damn that, bad. We're gonna need at least one more cop car for all of them. Yeah. Okay. Let's we can call for some backup here. Hey, right, let me ask y'all a question real quick. I'm sorry to interrupt. Did it, did, yeah. did either y'all give them marijuana? Absolutely not. We actually we just came back from the hospital. We were just there not a long time ago because, like I said, that place definitely poisoned him. They were telling us to go right. away and no stuff. We don't even know how to grow marijuana. I would never even consume marijuana, and neither does he. Because I, just, I, don't, I don't think anyone's okay. talking about growing or consuming. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, so so no is the answer. Okay, thank you. 
Oh my God, gosh. Mr. Old man, he can talk forever. Holy shit. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm about to, I'm, I'm about to go to jail to myself. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. Come on, like, please. <laughs> Stay strong. <laughs> All right, Mr. Martin, mate. Right? All right, so the evidence and facts being presented today, we believe that you have engaged in the sales of drugs by engaging and receiving the drug and give it somebody else at a sales. She didn't give me the money, but there's no right. trail. Right, but she was walking to the ATM, pulled out the money. The money could have been used for the transaction. No, the money was to get a rental car because that's the reason why we were meeting there in the first place. Mr. Martin. I, I called her. I said, do you have any money? She said, no. I said, okay, let's meet at the clothing store because we need to get money for a car. That's, that's how it went. I had no plans. I wasn't planning to sell it. I wasn't planning to call cops. I hadn't even thought that far ahead. It was just I was going there to meet Maeve. They stopped me. They, they told me to get rid of it. They said they'll be watching. So I was like, okay, look what these guys just gave me. And then I showed her, and that's, that's it. Okay, son, right. this is what we're going to do. We can't just not give you anything, all right, and let you let you go scot-free. You obviously didn't make a transaction there of, of uh, marijuana. You gave it to her. Well, yeah, but either, either way, if you're trying to get me, like, for, for distribution or for, for selling, I, I want a bench trial. Like I said, I wasn't giving it. I was showing it. There was no sale. Okay. You know, can, can we get a bench trial for this guy? So, I mean, I absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. We'll see what a judge has to say. Well, they, they damn near remodeled every building in the city. They did. It, this place is massive. You thought Mission of Pity was big. It's yeah. probably the most beautiful place oh I've goodness. seen in the city. What the I hell? Got. It's like they took their time with this one. All right. Uh, everyone here, do you swear and affirm that the testimony you are about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, under pains and pen penalties of perjury? So help you, Buddha. <clears throat> I do. I so swear. I do. Pluto, she want the first honor or should I? You know what? You go ahead. <clears throat> okay. It was uh, roughly an hour and a half ago, actually. We're responding to a suspicious activity taking place by the Little Soul Apartments off South, Rock South Rockford Drive. While patrolling the area of suspicious activity, we saw two individuals who were later identified as Maeve Gray and Kai Martin. And then from there, we witnessed both of them make a hand-to-hand -hand transaction. We asked them if they had any melee weapons on them. We asked them if they said anything. They were very cooperative and gave consent for a pat down of search. And I, when I performed the pat down of search, 100 grams worth of marijuana was found on her person. She claimed that marijuana bag came from Mr. Martin after they made that transaction. We detained them both. And as we were trying to conduct our investigation, two individuals uh, approached the scene, grabbed them as they're in cuffs, escorted them to a gray and colored seminal, they stopped them, placed them on arrest, all the suspects were taken to Mission Road PD and processed. Perfect. Thank you. All right, Miss Fitzpatrick, call your first witness, please. Uh, Maeve will be my first witness. Go ahead up again. Get up there. I was at the apartment with Kai here. We went to the clothing store. We got changed, and then we ran back to the apartments to get a car and realized we didn't have money. So I ran back to the ATM to get $100. And when I went to get the $100 out, these guys showed up cops me and kai you know i think he handed me something but you know it wasn't it wasn't something terrible but i didn't have a chance to check the cops Can't came over right they they told me they were gonna they wanted to search me they asked mm -hmm. me permission and i said i don't really know why they said i was jaywalking there was crime in the area and i was like i didn't commit crime but i guess i was dumb enough to let them search me and uh, i had weed in my possession dumb enough. Hey, we, we, we did have probable cause, right? And I stated that to them. No, we they had enough for a reasonable articulate suspicion they're involved in a crime because the they were near the robbery. That's what we were responding to. Mm -hmm. However, they jaywalked, so we had a reason to stop them. But they gave then consent, they though, to be me. fair. Did you feel like you had to say yes to the request to search you? Yeah, they said that, oh, that it was Lord, suspicious activity <laughs> and it was in the area and that we were jaywalking. Did you feel like you had to take the marijuana? It was uh, uh, objection, my... objection, Your Honor. Weird. What? Use uh, what you asked she her. She clearly stated in her testimony that she was using the ATM and didn't notice what her friend was slipping in her back pocket. It's more prejudicial than probative. There we go. There's the objection. There we go. I'll sustain that. <clears throat> she not notice what she received. Okay. It's been a pretty long time. It's been seven years for me doing this. <laughs> so you did not notice what you received when he uh, when he gave it to you, right? No. Nope. Do you know how, uh, how how your friend here received the uh, the marijuana? He didn't say anything before, but like after he said some guys gave it to him. Hey, I have advice him that if he's going to testify, he's got to do the whole thing all the way through. 
Because we can't afford one, that's why. God, this damn state bullshit. Go, go, get up there. Get up there. Get the fuck up there. Uh, so, me and Maeve were getting dressed at the clothing store, we went back to the apartment, and then we went to rent a car, but neither of us had enough money, so we went to the bank. So we went to the ATM to get money. Uh, on my way, two guys stopped me, they gave me some weed, they told me that I have to get rid of the weed and they'll be watching. I went over to the ATM, I passed it to Maeve and said, these guys just gave me this, look at that, and then they saw it. Also, didn't she lie? Wait, so is he saying they met is at the, the, entirety the apartment of the store? Which today? one is it? Uh, after that, the two guys who gave me did try and pull up. And he told us. He told us they prior that the she, they he the met her after the, the apartment. apartment. Yeah, the right. Now the store is changing. Yeah, he told he told us that they oh, did not right. meet her at the apartment. Mr. Patrick, any follow up questions? Who's showing the truth now? The officers testified earlier. You gave them two different stories from where the marijuana came from. What is the truth? Uh, the truth is that the guys gave me the weed. I, I originally lied uh, because the guys threatened me. What did they threaten well, they, you? Well, they said I'll be watching, which I took as a threat. If you had to do it over again, would you make the same decisions? Uh, no. Have you learned your lesson about jaywalking? Yes. Good God, so many robbers. No further questions, Your Honor. Hey, are we I even arguing the, the charge here? doesn't actually work on these phones. I share we your are. pain and suffering in this Because I feel life. like we haven't even talked about the charge itself. I and thought it was just me. Thank you we for did. confirming We talked about the transaction. No, no. Yeah, but I mean... No, the silence it, button it, does not. It clearly happened. I mean, right. he said that well, it happened. Maybe they just it, want you to... They just want us to right. always go and, and when we people just want to judge or argue that in court saying that's um, The only thing I would like mm -hmm. to point out, Your Honor, at this time uh, is that my clients... Uh, we're not even aware of their right to refuse, um, as I don't believe there is currently a Fourth Amendment right against illegal search and seizure, which causes somewhat of an issue in this regard. Uh, I can't even raise a fruit of the poisonous tree point in this area. Um, I would like those motions or at least points of order taken in consideration when evaluating the evidence and the testimony heard today. I have no idea what she That's said, wonderful. but I think we'll win. With that, I am putting this into recess. I will be deliberating in such time. Bailiff is in charge. Hey, the bailiff, you. did we win? <laughs> no comment. Okay. <laughs> For now. I see. Point so bench trials are a bit different than court cases because you're giving a narrative as far as what happened. And then we okay. question sure. the narrative, right? So do we not have to state our case that we didn't illegally search him? No, we. I, I, I did. I, I, read, I, I said they gave consent. What was that? So, right. I said, how many years has it been? Well, she's arguing so, that they didn't know I they could say no. Actually... Just because they don't know doesn't make yeah. it illegal. Does that make yeah. sense? Uh, right. I mean, I, I asked the question. Yes. She said yes. Right? Yeah, true. No, I mean, if, if, you, if you run a red light, you didn't know what a red light means, that's still illegal. I just feel like we didn't even get a chance to talk about what the actual reason is we got here. Which is, was it sale? He said, we're saying it's sale, and he says it's not sale because there was no exchange of money. All right. After going over the evidence and considering the testimony, there was no transaction of money proven, and there was no proof of any exponentially or unimaginably high amount of cash on either person. That brings into doubt whether or not a sale actually occurred, and I do not believe that that was proven beyond a reasonable doubt. For this reason, I will be finding Mr. Martin not guilty of sale of drugs. See, that's not what the, that's that not what the, the law says. Of this court, and this case will be adjourned with prejudice. Thank that's, you, Your Honor. That's not what's we'll talked about. Thank you, Your Honor. In the sales of drugs, it doesn't really stay uh, value or monetary gain. The transaction is the giving of something in reception of something else. But what if something else is zero dollars? Then that's a gift. That's not a transaction. So if I just give somebody, you know, a copious amount of illegal drugs, it is now out of my possession. I can no longer be charged for possession. And then it's just a done deal. If they don't give me any money and they want to give me money, you know, a week later, two weeks later. You can charge the person who is given the drugs with sale of drugs because it fits for them. And then you can discuss with them whether or not they want to testify on the person who gave it to them. I think it's uh, important to remember that the, the definition of these charges is very important and that we're pushing the appropriate charges on the appropriate people. Um, How does Maeve off... get the sales of drugs? Can you explain that one to me? Because 
she received the drug, right? Right. And as the charge is defined, it's either a transaction that occurs or if you receive the drugs. If they're given so to the you. receiver right. gets the but, sales of drugs. That's but, correct. Engages yeah. but, but here's in a the transaction thing. to sell and or receive a controlled dangerous substance. So so you can just hand you can just hand folks drugs now. I, th I think the the final thing that's important is it's it's just also very important that you can prove in some way, form or fashion that there was a, an exchange that happened both ways. So I couldn't really prove that there, he received it from those party or a different party, but I could prove that he had in his person, which would be possession, and then her receiving it is fitting the bill, like you said, would be sales. Yeah. So that would have been the correct charging. It's one of those things okay. that's probably just going to have to keep coming to bench trial as circumstances change, the verdict will change. Right. Because not every case is going to be the exact same. You're going to have the different, right, of course. The different evidence, different testimony. Well, right, Understood. Well. Yeah, well, I mean, well, hell, we, we appreciate the explanation. I mean, we, we just got to, that's just something we got to push for, you know? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, appreciate y'all. You, you know what? Sir, sir, is that you, Captain? Yes, it's me. Oh, no, it's not oh, me. He's not, that's me. No, it's not me. <laughs> Howdy, sir. Oh, you don't have to play with me. I don't see any straps in your arms or whatever. If, if he's the sheriff, he's the sheriff. He's not oh, the sheriff. He's, he's, right. he's an officer. So, uh, I sent you an email not long ago to uh, uh -huh. the, Cletus, the captains. And, oh, go ahead, Cletus. Go ahead and answer this question. Go ahead. Um, I'll just, you know, just He's try to see if I could get that interview lined up. Maybe help you guys out a little bit with the, the police force. Absolutely. I, I am doing hiring for the PD. Oh, uh, you are? Really? Mm -hmm. Sir, here's the first step you need to do to join the PD, okay? First, you need to go down <laughs> to the coil? hospital and get a physical. <laughs> Okay, Thor. Okay, go down to the hospital, get a physical, pass that first. We'll continue our conversation. You know what, Slack? You know, if I just ran for mayor, we could we could make we we could we could make all these laws fixed. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you can. Yeah, and we need and we're probably need a lot of laws change, especially as we go through them and figure out what what is it that um we understand and what does not because the way things are written right now, there's a lot of gray in between. Okay, so here's what did we learned today. We learned that the receiver of the drugs should be should be this this I guess getting the sales of drugs, and then the person selling the drugs should be the one that gets possessions. Uh, hi, officer. Howdy. Can I get my knife back, please? There you go. Did you learn your lesson today? Yeah, I should have booked you for about eight more things that I could have. Look, I learned my lesson. Next time, you know, we'll put about eight things on you, and we'll be on our way. You have a nice day now, son. I look to it. Bye. Absolutely. Simpler city high, but all he found was a crime filled land of strife.